Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Tricentis Tasca Automation Tutorial. So as you all know, till now I have published around five YouTube videos covering the basic concepts of Tricentis Tasca 16 version. So from this session onwards, so we'll start automating the test cases and then we'll start learning different concepts and techniques that we are going to use by using Tosca. So as part of that, it's very necessary to know about the introduction to Xscan. So this is our lesson six, where I'm going to introduce you to Xscan and how can you scan your system under test by using Xscan in Tosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so what is our agenda? So by this lesson, you're gonna learn how to navigate Xscan and then how can you use the different Xscan views and the buttons that are available under Xscan window. And also you will be able to identify the controls by properties and by anchor. And what are all the different basic views available in Xscan and what is advanced view and what you can access by using advanced view in Xscan and also what is the purpose of select on screen option in Xscan and also I'm going to teach you how can you use the condensed view of your Xscan and then how can you save the controls to your module and how can you create the module in Tosca. Okay, so I think the identification control by using properties and anchor that I'm going to cover in the next session. But rest all the topics, how can we navigate through Xscan? What is the purpose of Xscan? How can we use the Xscan in Tosca in capturing the controls that I'm going to teach you in this lesson. Now let's jump onto the system and see how can we navigate through Xscan and what are all the different views available in the Xscan and what are all the different buttons that we have in the Xscan and, and how can we use them? Okay, so now let's jump out of the system. So uh, this is my uh, Tricentage Tosca 16 version. Okay, so now let's see what is this Xscan and whatever the discussion points uh, that have told you, let's see practically. Okay, so this is my module section. So I have already explained you regarding these sections in my previous session okay so you need to navigate to module section and then right click on your module parent folder and then select scan and you have to select the scan application because we are testing or we are automating an application right select an application so this will bring you a new window to select your application so basically it brings you all the applications that are opened in your system, right? So I need to scan my demo web shop application. So as I told you, we'll be using the demo web shop that is provided by Tricentis. Okay, I explained you about this demo web shop in my previous session. So I would recommend you guys to go through this session. Okay, so select the application that you would like to scan and then click on scan. So as soon as you click on scan, you will be landing onto your Xscan window. And this is your basic view of your Xscan. Okay. So as soon as you landing onto the basic view of your Xscan, right now you can directly start adding the objects that you would like to automate. Okay, controls. Okay, let's say I want to add register. You need to just single click on register that will add the control to your Xscan and then login that adds your control. 
and this is your basic view okay and what is advanced view okay if you click on advanced view the difference in the basic and advanced view is you can see the technical properties of your object control the technical properties of your control can be viewed in the advanced view okay and if you want to go back to basic view again you need to click on basic arrow mark okay that takes you back to your basic view okay let's go to advanced view again and see all these technical properties okay and the next option is select on screen so select on screen is not by default selected so you need to click on select on screen and now you can start adding new objects so basically it works same as basic view but here you can add the objects and then you also can see the technical properties okay let's add shopping cart see i have added the shopping cart let's add wish list okay and if you want to remove the select on screen view you need to again click on select on screen that will exit your select on screen view okay and then again same you can go back to basic view right the controls whatever i added still it there it's there and then let's go back to advanced view and if you see in the advanced view i can see all the technical properties if you scroll down here under technical properties whatever the check boxes i'm seeing here right so for this shopping cart control this shopping cart control is being identified by the technical property called inner text tag if you want to identify this element by using class name you can check this box okay and one more thing is as soon as you add any new object let's say i want to add let's go back to basic view let's say i want to add a uh, apparel and shoe as soon as you add it immediately gives you a notification that the selected item is unique okay so that's one thing and now let's see what is condensed view so when you click on this condensed view the condensed view tab will go to the right side of your screen and it gives you full control of your system under test application so that means you can view your entire application now okay this is shortcut view and now again you can add the controls as it is again i can add this control by clicking on electronics so this is added and if you want to go back to basic view again click on basic view and see if this electronics is added yes it's there hope you understand and then save your controls so whatever the controls that you added this is your save button on top left corner as soon as you click on save it saves all the controls to your module let's go back to module see the new module called demo webshop.login has been added and all the controls that we are uh, we added will be saved in this new module called demo webshop.login okay and this gives you an opportunity to add more controls let's say i forgot to add another control called gift card i can add again and then again click on save so this will update your existing module with the new control that you added okay so the module the new module uh, it will not create a new module it basically adds a new control to the same module okay and then what is finish screen so what is the difference between save and finish okay finish screen see when you save the controls still remain on the screen and you can add the new controls but if you click on finish scan or finish screen this will clear all the controls from your screen and that creates your module see the new module with all the controls that we added 
Now, if you want to add another module called, for example, some other module, other page, right? Then you can go back to your X scan, start scanning your new page or new module. Okay. And this, the difference is when you click on finish screen, it removes all the controls. If you click on save, the previous controls will be on the screen. Okay. And then you can close your X scan. Right. And let's click on scan screen again. Let's say I want to add a new module. Okay. Here, let's go back to your advanced view. And then now let's see what is this highlight selection option. Okay. When you click on highlight selection, so okay, let me add first login. Okay. Sorry. Let me go back to basic and then click on login. Right. Let's go to advanced. So if I want to highlight this control, let's say you have a lot of controls on the page. So if you want to see what where is this login, you click on highlight selection. That will highlight the control that will highlight the control on your application. Okay. So that's the advantage of your highlight. Again, you can simply click on highlight and then remove highlight. Okay. That's the advantage of highlight selection. Okay. So hope I have covered all the topics that we are supposed to learn. Okay. Save and finish done. Okay. So we saw the concept. Okay where so in this case right i just scanned a new module when i'm closing this i don't want to save you can just click on no this will not save a new module okay so these are all the controls that we added as a new module okay hope you all understand the basic concepts of x scan so this is very important from next sessions onwards when we start automating our test cases we are going to use our X scan to create the modules and to capture the controls and their technical properties. So if you have any queries, please provide your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Hope you all understand the concepts of X scan in Tricentis Tosca latest version 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.